go. It is Wednesday, October 19th, 2022. And did you guys know that North America has exactly one plant that produces caffeine? And it grows everywhere down here. This is called Yapon Holly or Yopon Holly. Depends on how you pronounce it. I thought it was Yopon. Everybody on YouTube pronounces it Yopon, so there's that. But you probably recognize this because it is literally everywhere down here, either in landscaping or just on the side of the road like this. But this is an island. You're literally at the side of the road. Literally at the side of the road. This is a female one, which you can see from all the berries. This is usually what you'll find in landscaping. You do not eat the berries or use them to make the caffeinated tea, but instead you use these little leaves. You pick them when they're green like this. And well, I, I think, think they're always green. Whatever. You pick fresh leaves, wash them really well, and then let them dry for a few weeks before storing in a container. Then you can just crunch them up in a blender when they're dry to make a kind of not quite powder. And then you can make a green tea out of it that has caffeine. And this is an up and coming thing that people are realizing, oh, hey, we don't have to be shipping all these caffeinated plants from all over the world when we have this right in our backyard. So there's been a lot of people who are making startups and stuff that are actually growing and selling these and selling the finished product as a tea that is native to America with caffeine in it. So if you want to hop on that craze before it starts getting super expensive, you can start growing your own and just find any trees that have the ripe berries. They just come right off when they are ripe and then you can just plant these directly in a container or in the ground if you have somewhere that you really want to plant them right away. But yeah, don't eat the berries but you use the tea. But you can grow, you can get seeds from these obviously which is what we're going to do as well as cuttings. So yeah, fun fact. Just make sure you look for the berries for to be sure the identification because there's a few things down here that look like it that I can't think about the top of my head what they're called. But mm -hmm. It has little serrated leaves and the camera won't focus on them because it's stupid. But it has little serrated leaves with a lighter vein in the center and then the twig and most of the bark is like a really light gray. And it's not bumpy or anything, it's just kind of solid gray. <laughs> and then we're taking some cuttings from this one since it's really healthy because see all the berries it has. Here's and we're cuts. just going to shove them straight into some dirt. Yep. Oh, okay, the camera battery's dying, so the video's over here.